everything. Oh, this is on. This is open. APU is on. Or something. Air conditioning is on. Ram air is on. So this is on. It means it will make the problem. Interference noises and this one will come. All the switches should be off. Off, 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 off. Okay. Battery pay load hoga. Noise hoga. This. Everything should be off. Okay. I control the switch. Okay. Or the battery on, these two lights will flicker. On off, on off it will do. This indicates the fire system is, circuit is working. Cancel this one. Off ho jayega dono. Now you want to test it. Test this bell and see the indicator switch off. Never to remove this one and operate this one. See the fire extinguisher operate ho jayega. Wherever the guard is there, in the cockpit, anywhere in the aircraft, guard is put when it is required to be operated, then only you should operate. It means when you remove this one, move this one, and do it means you are intentionally you have done it. ऐसे नहीं कह सकते ये कुछ भी नहीं है मेरा हाथ लग गया ऐसे that has operated now you you cannot say like that so all the guarded one required for operation then only you should operate fire extinguisher operated on the engine engine पूरा खराब नहीं होगा but the engine required to be clean within couple of hours Otherwise, this will penetrate with the magnesium alloy, aluminum alloy, coating what is given over the compressors and elsewhere, and this will react with the metal. Hence, engine has to be given a thorough wash. So, unless it is required not to be touched, okay, be aware of it away from this. Now ready? Starting panel. Engine. Engine selector. Circuit. Yes, no. All the jet engines will have a automatic timer cycle. Ek bar on kar do or starter the bow, the timer will carry on winding. It means the starting cycle, the igniter automatically it will fire. It will come into contact with the igniter. Give the supply to the igniter contactor. Then some here manually we are doing HP cock. In the air car, LP cock will be manual. HP will be electrically operated. And that will open. And in case that fails to close it as manually we are doing, so LP cock, you can use that time because the gear time pump port side neutral off starboard off. Now this is the starter. This is the booster pump. This is the ignition switch. Okay. Now ignition switch. You ask for the battery on. Battery is on. Now test the ignition switch port and start port. You will hear the ignition sound. Igniter firing up to that distance. So this is not required to be put on while start. Because this is the circuit. You need not to put on this. Hardly makes any difference with this. Whether you put on or off. So hence it is will be in off position. Now select the engine, put the booster pump on, which side you are selected first. Now booster pump on, selected right, everything is set, now your hand should be at the HP core, because anything 
goes wrong. If it is delayed, I said more than 15, 20 seconds, then you should be ready to shut down the engine. So better you put in your hand and watch and what is going on. When the man who is starting, pilot or co-pilot or the, that engineer or this learner, you should watch the gauges and the indicators and the gauges. Now, ready, like one, two, three, four, leave it. Now you watch straight away the oil pressure gauge. Within couple of seconds, because here we are the tropical countries, hot countries, so yamper. Otherwise, it is given 10 seconds time. Normally, oil pressure in piston engine, jet engine, gauge should read within 10 seconds. Otherwise, cut off the engine. Oil is not going due to some reason. You have to investigate. So within couple of seconds you start moving. Leave this one and come to this one. RPM gauge. So RPM gauge already 2-3 percentage it has moved. So you are coming. Now you are ready. You have put the time on. When you press the starter button and left the timer you have just stopwatch or time as you have clicked it along with that. Now wait 15 seconds and a smart battery. Now you ampere and voltage. If you have a doubt on the batteries, as soon as you press the starter button and see first here and then go here. You see the drop hoga, uske baad recover hoga slowly. So kitna drop ho gaya? Ye jet engine requires 28 volts first. A drop is allowed 24. up to 26, 25 volts, even 24 volts. Chalega. 4 volt niche gir gaya. Because of the load. Doesn't matter. 24 volts will take the RPM. Hence, 10 to 11 percent RPM. Fuel pressure is sufficient. Burner will spread out. And it will make a contact with the Igniter plug firing. Igniter plug fires straight away within one or I mean two or three seconds. You will hear the noise of igniter plug in the cockpit also. So you have pressed it, left it, and watch drop. Okay, drop is 23 or 24 volts. Okay, engine will pick up in time. Then you are watching, watching 10 pe agya. Then this will start moving. Within 15 seconds or 16, 17 seconds, it has reached 11% RPM around. It will make a smooth start. It will start moving slowly, slowly, fast. Because accumulation of fuel. Just a burner of fuel arrive, that fuel is getting burned. So no accumulation is taken taken place because. Within the time it has taken, light up. So this will go very smoothly and it may touch 600 or not, it will settle over you. Then very, very smooth start, comfortable start of the jet engine. Now we think it has made a in-time start and we will see for jet engine. Then you see this will keep on going after settling this one. 30 pe jayega, 35, 36, 37, 38, 40 pe chal jay. So we have already set the that component has got an adjustment. 38 pe aake ruk gaya, for example. Adding RPM supposed to be 40 percent. 38 pe aake ruk gaya. Okay, let us see, we will adjust it. Okay, then Sometimes you want to adjust right there, so just move the throttle, respond all right, okay, then piche la liye, you brought it back, but it is settling on 38 only. So oil pressure within limit, fuel flow within limit, lights have gone off, temperature is within limit. Now all the technician from the cowling, 
calling is already open or there is an inspection panel to adjust it there is a bfcu i will show you where it is adjusted so make 110 out because if it is less if it is more 42 show kar rahe, make 110 or half ton in then you say stop then check it up it is settled 40 percent check that's a one so that i will tell you what all the adjustment how it is now go for the other engine after 35 seconds this will automatically cut off neutral igniter plug will stop firing after 35 seconds okay so go for the port engine same you repeat lp on hp on take the clearance now second item we are made on the battery sometimes you just just you check it up okay next load you are given to the battery so how much it is dropped okay not dropped more than 23 or 24 pair it will make a smooth start. So same phenomena this side. 15 seconds, you are very alert. RPM has reached to 11% around. The, you will find this is start moving slowly and goes towards 600 steps over there. In time start. Same you are watching. Idling RPM kither gaya. Lights are gone off. Set. Both are set at Adling RPM. And you are taking the reading. It may be just a half PSI different, one PSI different. Later on it may settle. Okay, 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 okay. Now, next operation 50% RPM, 60% RPM. So, this all will start varying. This all will start varying. Refer the chart, manual chart, and learn about it. Go up to the 10 by 10, 10 by 10, 100% RPM. 100% RPM, you see, anything is going above 100. So that can be adjusted again there on the fuel pump governor. There is adjustment. Okay, if it is 99%, okay. raise it. If it is 100%, you tell one or half down, you will adjust it. Okay, that's the one. So, bring it back. Again, you want to take it, bring it back. Engine parameters you have checked and satisfied. Hydraulic pressure is building. Let's cooperation grow. See how many degrees it has come. Rising. It means hydraulic system, pump, everything is working. Hydraulic zone. Break you try to press it and it will fluctuate there. Needle will move. That's all. This is this will come in open. It will be written open. So this all the one. These are all the checks for the engine side. Okay, the hydraulic side. Then we go for the air conditioning, a pressurization. This will be open walls. Pressurization is done. All the windows and doors are. Close. You are having good cabin pressure. Just it will go and you switch it off. It is working, pressurization is working. You will feel the so diaphragm, air diaphragm is something is happening to that. 
Okay, it's working. Good job.